In this video, I'm going to explain simply how you can convert cryptocurrencies into fiat currency on Binance. So when you're on Binance, what you need to do, you need to go ahead and make sure you're logged into your account and then go to wallet and then go to fiat and spot. This is going to bring up your portfolio of all of the coins that you've got. Now, what you need to know about converting coins into fiat is some coins will convert straight into your currency, while other coins, there won't be a pairing to your currency. So you're going to have to do two trades in order to get that coin into fiat currency. So let me show you what I mean here. So if we wanted to convert some BNB into my home currency, Great British Pounds, what I could do, I could go to trade. And you can see here, we've got different pairings. We've got quite a lot of pairings here, including BNB to Great British Pounds. So if I wanted to trade BNB or convert BNB into Great British Pounds, I could go to trade and I could go and click on this pairing here and it will open up this window here. Now on this window, I could then simply scroll down. I will then go to market. So we're going to be trading at the market price. And then what I could do is I could sell some of my BNB into Great British Pounds. And I could use this slider here to choose how much BNB I wanted to sell. So that's how you would convert a coin if that coin has a direct pairing to your home currency. So all of the popular coins will most likely have like a direct pairing to your home currency, but a lot of them won't. And if your coin doesn't have a direct pairing, this is what you need to do. So let's say, for example, I wanted to sell some Luna. If I go to trade, you can see here that Luna doesn't have a pairing to Great British Pounds. So I couldn't go and trade in the same way that we just traded BNB. What we would actually need to do is trade Luna for another coin and then trade that coin for our home currency. Now to find out what coins we can go ahead and trade Luna into before trading into pounds, we will go to trade, we will go to classic, and this will take us to the same window. Now what we can do here is we can go ahead and search for GBP. You can see here GBP has a pairing with USDT and BUSD. So what that means is we can then trade Luna into either USDT or BUSD. So we go to trade here. We can now trade it for BUSD or USDT. So that's exactly what you would do. You will go and trade it to one of them. I'm going to do USDT. So again, it will take you back to this window and you can then go ahead and scroll down and then go to market. Make sure you're on market because you want to sell at market price because this is just the best thing to do if you're a beginner. Don't worry about limit buys or anything like that. Just go to market and here you can sell your Luna for USDT. And again, you can choose how much Luna you want to sell. And all you would do is you will go ahead and sell Luna. Now, once you've sold your Luna, you will then have USDT in your wallet. And again, you would check that by going to wallet, fear and spot. And then you would have USDT here. So I have no USD right now. Uh, but if you sold some Luna or any other coin into USDT, you would then have USDT. So now we've got our USDT in our wallet. We can now go to trade classic, which will open up this window again. You will then search for Great British Pounds. And we're trading for USDT here. If you've done BUSD, you would obviously click on that one. Then you can scroll down here and you can see you can then buy Great British Pounds with USDT. So the USDT that you've converted from Luna, you can then go ahead and buy Great British Pounds with. So you could do your whole wallet. And once you click buy Great British Pounds, you will then have cashed out your USDT into pounds. So we've converted Luna into USDT and then USDT into Great British Pounds. Again, make sure you click buy Great British Pounds and then Great British Pounds will be in your wallet straight away. Then you can go and withdraw that into your bank account if you want. Now I know that is kind of like a long winded process, but that's what you need to do if your coin doesn't have a direct pairing to your fiat currency. So I hope that video helped you out. Please do leave a like and comment down below if you've got any questions and I'll see you all in the next one.